Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Dead Toast JF here from Meteor Shot Gaming. And I'm playing this game called Soda Dungeons, which you can see right here on the screen. Basically when you start you have this little portal thing which you can't touch because because I'll explain that soon. So you've got this tavern, which is basically where you start. You've got different type of people, which I've actually got all of them in here, so that's a good sign. That's a good thing that I can show you. Yeah. So you've got the sugar junkie, which these are the are these guys. They're your basic guys. They cost zero. Then you got your ruffian. They cost sixteen for me because I have this upgrade here, which makes them cheaper to buy. And then you've conscripts, which are these females here. She's familiar with adventuring for a price. And then you've got fighters who are specialized in brutal, brutal physical attacks. Cost 97 for me. Me, the conscript, cost 32 for me. Uh, and then the conjurer, which is the last one that I have. And she wields arcane powers. So she basically has a spell that damages all mobs during battle. Now you've got a wizard which allows you to warp to the closest area that you have that is a one number. Uh, you have a shopkeep which is basically spies and sells items to you. Easy enough explanation. You have a tavern keep or a, a shop a tavern owner which allows you to like upgrade the tavern allowing you to allowing you to get uh better better people as well as the soda allows you, or gets to the better people the tavern upgrades allow you to get the better people more often the this stuff allows you to get better people like, my next one is the healers, which gives you healers, obviously, which allows you to keep your team alive for longer. And then you get the thief, which allows you to loot more. Allows you to loot more off the bosses. Uh, questing cream soda, which allows you to have basically knights, who are basically heavy damage takers. Regal, which are merchants who basically use money and deal more damage and then drink zero which I have no idea what it is haven't seen it once I find out what it is I will show you guys in another video now you've also got VIP upgrades which are very expensive very expensive He's also got this guy here, which is a banger, so if you buy him and then play offline time, you get money. Or, he, if you buy him and then log out, he gains money while you're offline. This is the gladiator who you can hire, but you require this stuff to get him, because you have to basically pay for his weapon. Now you've got this area where it's basically where you start the dungeon. This area, once you hit max level, so say, because I'm in dimension 2, once I hit 200, I go to the next dimension, that next dimension max level is 300, then you go to the next dimension, which is 400, 500, 600, and each time you start back at level 1. Not 201 when I get to the next area, 1. So I gotta go through 100, 200, then 300. And then I move on to the next dimension. And then over here you have a, a, a 3v3 gladiator going up to, I think, 9 levels. Max is 350. That I know of the lowest is obviously 1. You've also got relics, which the first time you advance to the new dimension, you have a choice between a health relic, a damage relic, and a mana point relic. Mana points basically allow you to ma use magical attacks, and then everyone gets this one, which just basically plus two HP attack and MP per relic level. 
each relic costs this stuff here, which is called essence, or you can buy five levels for actual money, but lame, lame. And you can also get like what achievements you have up here. Uh, also your stat statistics, like how many hours you played, dungeon trips, that kind of stuff. Actually, there's a oh, there's even more battles won, battles lost, battles won with AC, force exits. I have won. Average trip twelve battles. Crits four hundred five hundred twenty basic back attacks. One twelve attacks void one thirty four attacks defended four. No, it says tax defender is only four because I had the knight and he basically for the time that I had him defended four attacks and then I beat the one on one or the level one hundred boss. And there's a lot of levels or a lot of stuff that shows up here. Oh, here we go. There's also doors that you can go in. Which this I think tells you yep, this tells you. Doors entered 32. I've had 5 fountain, 5 bonus treasures, 7 warbs, 5 poison traps. Now, poison, I'll explain these in a second. 7 flame traps and 3 drowsy traps. Now, let's start with fountain. Fountain basically heals your team back to full health. Bonus treasure, that's kind of self explanatory. It gives you an extra item or gold. Warps basically jump you up, I think, like, four to seven levels. Poison Trap. Okay, these are three. Give a debuff. It's a random chance on each of your characters to give them a debuff. The Poison one, obviously, is Poison. The Flame one, obviously, poison Flame. And then the Drowsy one actually does not make them sleepy. It makes them confused. And sometimes, or sometimes sleepy. It does have a chance to get him sleepy. You also have a bestiary, which basically shows all the mobs you've seen for an area. If you see, I've gone, I've gone a couple times, and I'm only missing like five in catacombs. I think one in here. Yeah, one in fire caverns. Probably a lot in here. None in Water Temple. One in uh, Frozen City. So they're pretty easy to get. And then Dungeon Bosses comes up as well. Dungeon Bosses are basically the 100 boss was Julius. The first boss that I ever fought. The next one is, I have no clue, but I fought him on stream. And it's basically got, so if you go here, you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10. But Armor Games. Oh, this was published by Armor Games. Here's all the uh, stuff for the people who created the game. Credits to them. And you can uh, you also have the ability to see all the items you got as well. But that's all for now, guys. Thanks for stopping by. See ya next time.